Hello and welcome to week one. I'm going to be doing a video just to go over some of the important things to remember each week. And so for this week, we're going to be talking a little bit about the topics, the readings, and the assignments you have. Um, so for topic one, um, which is week one, we're going to be looking at goals and objectives. And so with this, there's actually a lot of readings attached. Um, they, some of them are articles, some of them are websites, but they're really important things to know as beginning counselors. And so they may be stuff that you've covered in other courses, and that's fine. You can just review it. But if it's new information, definitely take some time to look it over. And so one article that I thought was really great is the intake um, assessment from the biopsychosocial perspective. Um, Self-injury and no harm contracts, really important topic for us to look, up, look into. Um, substance abuse treatment planning, we're going to be talking about treatment plans a little bit later in this term. Um, health, in, health information privacy, HIPAA, huge. This is going to come up constantly throughout your career, so definitely something to take a look at. Um, professional identity development, and this is one of the areas that I focus on a lot in supervision with future counselors. It's so important to talk about our personal identity as a counselor. Um, deconstructing, um, normalizing judgment. It's really important for us to be aware of the biases that we hold and the automatic judgments that we have and not pretend that we don't have any so that we can better work with our clients. Um, career development needs of counselor education students. Again, as a student, this is a really important topic to focus on as you move into your career. Self-efficacy in crisis situations. Um, even if you are not a specific crisis counselor, you may deal with crisis situations and we need to be prepared for that. And then the final thing that's posted under um, our readings and stuff for this week is helpful hints for beginning counselors. So just a few things to think about and keep in mind. So we have a couple tasks um, each week, um, and so this week is no exception. And then a few weeks we have additional assignments. And so every week we're gonna have a weekly journal. And the weekly journal is gonna be about 250 words. Um, you don't have to put it in APA format, but there is the expectation for academic writing. So you, you wanna make sure you check your grammar, your spelling, your sentence structure. And I would like to ask you to double space those. It makes it a lot easier when I'm trying to give you feedback and things like that if it is double spaced. Um, with this journal reflection, you're going to talk about the different tasks that you performed over the week and the hours that um, you um, spent on doing them and include this in your reflection of learning. So what did I learn by doing this task? How engaged was I in it? Are there areas that I feel like I need to continue to learn along these lines? Things like that. The second assignment that you're going to actually have every week is your hour log submission, and that is through the Typhon, still not sure how to say that, um, program. And so you're going to do that every week, and at the end of the semester, you have one big one to submit. Um, but weekly, you have to turn that in, um, both on that like website where you turn it in and also to the course so that I can make sure that you've done that and grade you on it. Um, each week, you're going to have two discussion question topics to complete, and with those, it's similar to the other classes that you've taken, where you post your initial response. This should include um, your own reflection and thoughts. You should put some either citations and sources, um, links, um, um, other resource material, um, experiences, talk about specific examples, and you want to make this nice and nice and meaty. Um, and then you have at least three posts throughout the week that you want to reply to peers or sometimes I'll put like additional um, topics under those discussions that you can reply to. So one initial post on each of the discussions for the week and then three at a minimum three responses to peers. So in total you're going to have five posts each week. Two are your initial responses to the discussion questions and at least three um, replies. In those replies, I wanna make sure that you're doing a really thorough job of um, engaging in the conversation. And so I've posted up the ABC method for you all to follow. So that's acknowledging the contribution of your peer, building on it, talking about your experience with it, kind of heading into the direction of your agreement or disagreement, and then the final part sort of adding something to it so can you add more examples can you add more resources or citations or questions or things like that and so i need those substantial those those three minimum three posts to your peers need to be substantial in nature and use that abc format 
Um, so for this first week, her topics are feelings about skills as counselors and areas of concern that you may have at this point, again, towards the beginning of, of this term. And then the second one is about um, what things have been most helpful for you in developing those counseling skills that you have and your knowledge base. And so be specific with that. Like what specific things have you been asked to do or even done on your own or engaged in or your experiences that are really helping you and can continue to help you moving forward. And so those are the four activities we're going to be doing each week. Um, this week with week one, we actually, it's one of the weeks that we have an additional activity. Um, and you're going to be creating an activity plan with your site supervisor. And that's going to sort of go over the things that you want to engage in this semester and sort of the purpose behind them. If, if I have these goals that I want to work on this semester to build my professional identity as a counselor and my efficacy, um, then what am I going to do in order to satisfy those goals and to meet those goals? And so there is a rubric attached to that. So make sure you're looking at the rubric so that you know what you need to include in that act, that paper um, and that you're meeting all of them so that you can get full credit for it. So that is basically it for our first topic, um, goals and objectives. It's just sort of getting started in the in this term and getting started with um, your internship for right now. Um, and you will see more of these videos posted each week to kind of cover the content and the tasks that are required of you. But feel free to always ask questions that are general about the course in the questions to the instructor forum. If they are private in nature or specific about something that you're experiencing, you want to put that in the private forum. Um, and I look forward to working with you all this uh, this term. Thank you.